you. Now, speaking of animals that we don't necessarily like, recently, not you, Stevie, there has been a lot of debate over how to manage one of the biggest pets, pests in Australia, the cane toad. Mm. There are millions of them on the march right across the country at the moment. That is for sure. And now one Queensland scientist says we can all help to eradicate cane toads by turning them into cannibals. Today's Jessica Millwood explains. <laughs> Hansen wants welfare recipients to be paid to catch them. Bob Catter wants kids to shoot them. But while our politicians debate the conundrum that is the cane toad, this Queensland scientist may have found the solution. Sometimes the best ideas are the simplest ones. The cane toad was introduced into Australia in 1935 with the aim of controlling beetles impacting sugarcane crops. The problem was, the toads couldn't jump to reach the beetles. At first, 102 of them were brought down under. Within weeks, there were thousands. And they clearly liked it here ever since on the march north, south and west. It's now estimated there's 200 million of the pests across the country. The big problem with cane toads is that they're poisonous. If the cane toad wasn't toxic, it wouldn't be killing native predator species and we probably wouldn't be having this conversation because the Australian net uh, predators would have cleaned them up. And as if they weren't disgusting enough, cane toads are cannibals and now we're using that against them. Toad tadpoles are attracted to a smell that the eggs give off, so at the University of Queensland they are using dead adult toads to bait the babies. Dozens of organisations have signed up to the Citizen Science Program. Look at all these little bastards. Including Headland Golf Course on the Sunshine Coast. Between Christmas and New Year I put the traps out for a couple of days and I was able to pull in two and a half kilos of, of uh, tadpoles. Well if you think rabbits are bad, take a listen to this. A female cane toad can lay 30,000 eggs a season 30 million across her lifetime. So while these traps are going a long way to putting a dent in the population, it may well be that we're fighting a losing battle. They're probably here to stay. I think the best we can hope for is to knock down their population dramatically and keep it under control so that the environmental impact isn't as bad. Cane toads in Australia are in regions that are, are quite remote. Well, Federal MP Bob Catter thinks he's got the solution for that. Now, Jess, would you like to shoot this cane toad? I'll give it a go. Because right. you, you want kids to be able to do this, so I that's, should be able to no, do that's, it. That's right, see? <laughs> see, you got him there. Oh, I got him. Yes, Bob Catter wants kids to get out and about with low-powered air rifles and shoot the toads. Are air rifles, even though they're low powered, as we've just seen, yep. are they safe in the hands of kids? Um, they don't even sort of embed in your skin. Do you think we'll ever get rid of cane toads? Um, Completely? Well, you, you've got to at least try and hold back the explosion. This trapping pheromone approach is one solution. We're hopeful that there are others, perhaps even better ones, uh, that are on the horizon. <laughs> Oh, they are disgusting, but I'm not sure about getting them with slug guns. Well, the race is on, isn't it, to yeah. find a solution. Um, put it, I mean, if they're attracted to each other through that awful odour, mm. that's got to be a good thing. Going down the cannibalism route. Oh, right. I wonder yeah. where you were going yeah. there. <laughs> well, apparently, you know, the, the odour they give off oh, is appealing. It's a love drug for toads. <laughs> if we've got a pest problem, we know who to call in. The Thai ball kid. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Bam. Boom. That's Very good point. Your cane toad solution solved right <laughs> there. Strong sneakers. <laughs> good story from Jess.